Welcome to By Fans for Fans. For our fourth video, we will be discussing Roundhouse Season 1. This video is the last of four parts discussing the Roundhouse television series. Running for 52 episodes from 1992 to 1996, Roundhouse was one of the shows on during Nickelodeon's golden era. It was part of the original wave of SNCC programming, airing just before the Wren and Stimpy show. The series was something quite special. Having never before been attempted in the realm of children's television, it set the standard for future successful shows like Disney's Hannah Montana. The word SNCC stands for Saturday Night Nickelodeon, and Roundhouse was sandwiched between the favorites. Clarissa explains it all and the Wren and Stimpy show, while the SNCC block closed with a show, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Each episode of Roundhouse was produced live to tape in front of a visible live audience, which meant that every week an entire collection of original songs, sketches and complex dance choreography had to be developed, rehearsed and performed without any real interruptions. Many people at the time equated the show to a children's version of In Living Color. Rita Hester and Buddy Sheffield met at the University of Southern Mississippi in Hattiesburg in the late 60s. Both had a love for children's entertainment, so formed a touring theatre troupe and spent many years bringing fun and learning to children across America. At the time wheels turn, Buddy moved to writing for shows like The Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour, Dolly, and eventually In Living Color, for which he was an executive producer and head writer. However, rolling with life's many ups and downs for seven years, Rita continued to pursue her dream of creating a children's television show and eventually succeeded with Nickelodeon in 1992. After co-founding Rebel Entertainment with Buddy and Benny, Rita has described the bulk of the casting process as unconventional, although Nickelodeon assisted with her own casting department. Aside from having discovered John Crane at a comedy show in New Orleans, Rita went on to find Roundhouse singer Crystal Lewis at an in-house record release party of Current Husband and Roundhouse musical producer Benny Hester. Crystal Lewis, who before, during and after her time on Roundhouse is a contemporary Christian music singer. In 1992, she took on the new challenge and worked as one of the original cast members of Roundhouse, for which she helped originate the theme song. The theme song was recorded in a makeshift studio space at Universal Studios. After the first season, Crystal left the show to pursue a very successful independent Christian music career. In the almost three decades of her career, Crystal has released more than 20 English albums and seven Spanish albums with her and her husband's label, Metro One. She's an accomplished professional and blessed with a marriage of 27 years and two children. While filming in Orlando, the cast would develop a sense of family as they were relatively isolated and only had each other during the few of times they weren't working on the show. Ultimately, what made the hectic schedule work each week was how well written the show was and the bonds the cast formed. Even though people have come and gone, those bonds between cast members and fans last till this day. But at the end of season one, Buddy Sheffield felt that in order for the kids to really link into the fashion, dance crazes and other fads of the target market, it was time to move back to Los Angeles, where the show would be produced until its end in 1994. So, as a tribute to the fans of Roundhouse Season 1 and to the cast and crew of Roundhouse, we present to you the 
by Fans for Fans version of the song I Do Not Care from the episode entitled Abusement Park. Thanks for watching.